Hello, today's video is on our stock number 35490MI, uh, Creative Digital Clock. Um, it comes as a board level component, as you can see, no box, no enclosure. It, it comes with four uh, standoffs, uh, probably were really designed to be on the other side to mount to a um, box or enclosure face. Uh, but for demonstration, I will got them mounted to the back. Uh, it uses a uh, CR2032 uh, battery. Uh, that's only good for uh, maintaining memory and settings and uh, running to, to crystal clock. Uh, it will not display. Uh, you need to have it powered up. comes with a little USB cable, which is the Mini B. Plug it in here. And of course you have the, the jack on the back. Okay, well, there we go. Let's get to the first cycle. First thing is uh, digital cameras, for whatever reason, don't display LEDs that well. So it's a very, very bright red and, and green, little green second hand. Starts off with the year, uh, the month and the day, the time. Now we just plugged it in, just turned it on, so that's that's where it came factory set from, and the temperature. Okay. Now on the back, you have three buttons here. One is marked uh, reset. One, the metal one is mode, and the one to the right here is plus. Um, I'll show you how this works and how to program the, the unit itself here. Okay. On the middle one, the mode, press once quickly. And you're displaying the, you know, you're now flashing the year. And you use the plus button. Oops, if you take too long, it goes back into mode. So it's just a quick press again. Now hit the plus button and you can count up the years. It's 2019. Hit the mode button again, and now this is the month. And we're sure of that because you hit the plus button, you get the 12, then it resets to 1. You hit the mode button again, and the uh, the day starts flashing. Now you have to press the button each time to count up. Uh, you just simply can't press and hold, unfortunately. But as you can see, that it knows it how many days are in that month for that year. Uh, press the mode button again, and it starts the hours. Now this is 24-hour uh, military time only goes up to 23 then goes back to zero so it is military time only press the mode button again and now we're into the minutes obviously set it to whatever time is accurate press the mode button again and now we're into the different patterns we have you, every time you press the plus button, I believe there's about 10 different patterns. And there again, digital cameras, for some reason, don't display the true vibrance of the color. Bright red, bright green. And of course, every time I'm pressing the plus button to change to the different pre-programmed pre modes. Okay, I believe that is it. Then, to get out of this mode, simply press the reset button. Okay, now we're into operation mode. You can see the time, 7.22 p.m. 25 degrees Celsius. It is Celsius only. Uh, no Fahrenheit, no conversion. Uh, year 2019 and April 12th. And then back to the time. 
Okay, that is the time setting. Now let's get into all the different um, different alarm modes. Okay, now for the alarm modes, uh, you press and hold the mode button. This, the other one you just a short press. This is a press and hold. Okay, first number one is the hourly chime. You can either use the plus button to turn it off or on. Uh, it will chime every hour on the hour except from 2200 or 10 p.m. to 8 uh, a.m. So it doesn't bother you in the middle of the night. Uh, you leave it alone and it'll simply go back into regular operation mode. So just press and hold the mode button again. Okay, now we go back to the plus, on or off, press the mode again. Now number two is the alarm mode. You can turn the alarm on or off. If you turn it on, you can hit the mode button again. And step number three is the hour. What hour do you want to set the alarm to? There again, it's military time, 22, 23, 24, uh, and then back to zero. Okay, then you hit the mode button again, and this is number four, is the minutes. Okay, then, then uh, program five is how long do you want the alarm to ring? That's minutes. So if you want the alarm to ring for 10 minutes, it'll ring for 10 minutes. Uh, you can simply hit any button to, uh, to, turn, to stop it from the alarm from, from buzzing but you can set it to a maximum of 20 minutes before it automatically just will, will stop ringing, stop buzzing. Program six is the uh, high and low temperature alarm. Obviously you can turn it on or off by the uh, plus button. And number seven is the uh, low temperature alarm. It comes factory set at zero, but it actually works from minus nine to 29 degrees Celsius. See, it starts over at minus nine. I'll put it somewhere a little bit higher. Let's, I'll show you how that works here in a little bit. Uh, then program eight. This is the high temperature alarm. Comes factory set at 30 degrees Celsius, but will run up to uh, 40 degrees and the low end of the high temperature alarm is 20, uh, 21 degrees Celsius. So there again, we'll put it up a little bit higher here. Okay, that's all the basic programmings of the, the alarm functions. So let's press and hold the reset. Okay, now it's back into regular operating mode. Uh, let's see, easiest thing to test out would be the temperature. Just happen to have the little iron set as low as I possibly can get it. <laughs> Maybe it's too low. And it'll keep uh, ringing until it's below its set point. And apparently it doesn't actually start beeping until it's in the display mode of for, the, for temperature. Interesting. Okay, now we have the low end setting. Let's take my little freezer can. It's essentially the same thing, but let's just, for fun, That's the low end setting. That's below our setting. But it is an interesting thing to learn is that the alarm only works during that display function. Learn something new every day. 
and it'll keep doing it until it's above the set point. Okay, that is the basic operations. That's some of the programming. Uh, let's see what else I forgot. Um, alarm mode, like I said, uh, we set it. Uh, it's basically the same beep. Uh, you have the hourly beep. And that's, that's it. All right. Thank you for watching our video.